Hey guys, I'm AJ with Park Industries. Today we're going to go over how to install a new belt drive spindle into a Titan. So the first thing here is to clean these collars. When the old spindle came out, there's going to be a lot of old anti-seize in this upper and lower collar. So you just want to clean that area really well. Uh, in the interest of time, I already cleaned all that up and I took the anti-seize from this spindle replacement kit and I already applied that to the lower and the upper collar. All right, so I've got our new spindle out of the crate and got it up on a couple blocks of wood here. I've applied anti-seize to this diameter here, and this diameter here, and I just smeared it on there. You really can't have too much, so the more the better, but make sure you get that area there, that area there all nice and lubed up. Um, the other thing here is this spindle comes with a sensor on it. And when you're putting the spindle in, this cable has a tendency to get caught on stuff and damaged. So what I like to do is I just give it one wrap around here. And then I'm gonna take some duct tape and secure it in place. All right, at this point, we've got the lower and upper collars cleaned and re-lubed with anti-seize. We have the spindle uh, cleaned and lubed down here, anti-seize on this surface and this surface, and we have the sensor taped up so it won't be damaged when we're installing it. So at this point, what I like to do is I like to have the Z all the way up, and I'll go ahead and move the Y-axis back a little ways so that we can kind of pivot that spindle up and in as we move it. So I'll just move that back about like that, and then Dave and I will lift this spindle up onto the plywood here. So if you want to spin that back like that, Dave. So we'll get that kind of position like that. And then Dave's kind of going to lift it up like this as I move the cross travel forward. So just like that. And then at this point, I can Z down a little bit just so this thing won't tip out on us. So I'm just gonna Z down real slow. Now from here, you're gonna wanna move the machine around so that you kinda be, get centered over the spindle. So I'm just gonna take a minute to kinda get centered over this and start coming down. If you feel any tension at all, come back up and re reset yourself. So it looks like I gotta come straight ahead a little bit. So as you can see, Dave's kind of twisting the spindle as we're doing this. That helps give feedback to whether it's getting in a bind or not. Now at this point you want to make sure you have your belt in there. It just makes things a lot easier at the end. So make sure your belt is just kind of slid back. And then I'll just keep coming down. So now at this point we're all the way out of Z travel. So we're going to have to use some blocks of wood to lift this spindle up. So I'm going to take and grab some blocks of wood here and a pry bar. And then Dave, if you want to slide a block of wood under there when I lift this up. So now that you have one block under there, it's nice to reset everything. So we'll take a minute here and get everything reset up. It'll just make this process a lot easier as we go along. So I'm going to lift up on this and Dave's going to turn the block the long way. And then we're going to add a couple more blocks underneath there. Now at this point we've got 
three two by fours underneath here. As you can see, that's about the right spacing because our flange is just about where it needs to be. So the last thing we're gonna do is make sure uh, this hole points straight forward. So I'm gonna get that position a little bit so it's pointing straight forward. And at this point, we can put some Loctite 243 on our mounting bolts and install those. So we'll just put a little blue Loctite on each of these bolts. So once you get all your mounting bolts tightened up, the next thing will be to reinstall the air fittings. So I got my air fittings back in place. Now before I get too far ahead, I want to Z up. And I'm going to put these set screws back in. So I'm going to just put a little bit of blue Loctite on the set screws. Now you don't have to go up all the way with those just so that they're flush with the flange of the spindle here. The reason for these is just to protect the threads so that they don't get all filled up with dirt and grit. Now what I'm going to do is take some of the silicone out of this uh, spindle removal kit. So I'm going to take some of that silicone and I'm going to fill up the bolt heads. I know so the reason for doing that is so the next time you go to change your spindle, the silicone will protect the bolt heads so they won't be all filled in with grit. So I'm just going to go and apply this to the four bolt heads. So at this point we can reinstall the watering. I like to put a little blue Loctite 243 on the mounting bolts. Then once our mounting bolts are tight, we can reinstall our hoses. So now we're going to get the belt positioned into place. I'm just going to get it so it drops into these cogs here. So we're good on the front and the back. I'm just going to take and pull this motor out a little bit and then we'll, we'll install the belt tensioner. So there we got the motor out. I'm just going to do a visual here, make sure everything looks good. So we're good. The cogs are all in the pulleys here. Now we're going to use this belt tensioner. So you got to add a little bit of lube to this surface. I'm just going to use Metaflux because that's what I have available. All right, so now we'll install our belt tensioner. So you just want to have a setup like this, two nuts on it. And we're going to thread that in. We just need to thread it in far enough so it gets a decent thread engagement on this plate. And then we'll go ahead and tension the belt. So you can do this by hand. You don't need a wrench or anything. And you can kind of hear it a little bit. It's pretty hard to hear, but you can hear a little clicking noise. So I don't know if the microphone is picking up that clicking noise or not, but you can kind of feel it in there too. Um, so at that point, the belt is properly tensioned and we can go and snug down our four motor mount bolts. So when you have all your four bolts tight, you can go ahead and loosen up and remove your belt tensioner. So just take that, the main body loose and then you should be able to just unthread the threaded rod. That'll drop right off and you can just clean up the excess lube here. So once we have our belt tensioned, we can go ahead and reconnect our sensor cable.
All right, so that's connected. I'm just gonna throw a zip tie on over here. Okay, now all that's left to do is we'll put on the water union, the air cylinder, and the anti-rotation bracket. Now at this point, there are two things left. We need to reset our spindle to table height and reorient the spindle. For help on that, contact Park Industries Customer Service or consult your manual.